Hello, I see people are starting to come in the class. We'll get warmed up in a second. Today, um, we will use dumbbells, mat, or kind of do what we were doing. Um, I want to use the bands. I know a few people had trouble with the bands. And so um, if you were one of those people who had a problem with the bands, I would recommend probably getting fabric bands. Uh, I know some people had fabric bands and it worked out much better. I honestly, for as much as I, long as I've been in the industry, I didn't realize they were even making fabric bands, which is great. Um, so it won't like write up on you. It will like stick a little bit better. Um, I bought a pair just because I want to check them out. Um, if you want to use the other bands for and keep them, if they're working, try them out a little bit longer, by all means, keep your bands. Uh, next week, we will try to bring back in bands. But again, this week uh, or today, we're just going to use dumbbells on a map. So if you need to adjust, I'm giving you guys time to adjust your bands. Okay, we are ready to start warming up. Go ahead and find yourself a little bit of space. We're gonna go ahead and start off. I like to take a big step side to side. I'm gonna work up top and start loosening up the body, getting the blood flowing through the body. What I'm gonna start doing is taking my shoulders and I'm gonna push them very dramatically back and down. So I'm gonna go big shoulder rolls back and down, kind of correcting my posture. I wanna be upright. I wanna push this back and down. I wanna do good breathing. All that stuff we check right now. Excellent job. Okay, so I have really good, trying to have really good posture. I'm trying to push down my shoulders, opening up the, um, the chest, pulling back my shoulders so I'm not in a forward motion. So I'm going to keep my posture upright. I'm going to keep the legs moving, just save the blood flowing. And we're going to start doing arms up. And when the arms come up, I'm not putting them out in front of my body. I'm going to go straight up if you can. So straight up. So you may not have full range of motion, that's okay. If you don't have full range of motion today, that's fine. Just reach what you can. And your goal is to eventually try and get the arms straight as can be up in the sky and breathe. Good. Excellent job. As always, remember you can turn on some music. Just make sure you're, you're on mute. I see a few more people have popped in the class. That's great. I'm changing it up, hands over. I made just a little announcement at the beginning. Today we're using dumbbells and a mat. I know a few people had problems with the bands. I would recommend if you were one of those people switching over to a fabric loop band, and you can find that. Um, and then, so I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of time to adjust if you were one of those people who had problems with the bands. Adjust your bands. If you wanna give it a go again, we'll try it again next week, okay, with the bands. Fantastic. So core tight, pop that knee up. Loosen up the hip flexor. Good. Excellent job. Knee pulls up. Good breathing. So pull that knee in. You can pull it in tight. You can hug it in. Whatever feels best for you. Good. Keep the chest up, feet about hip width apart when you move into a squat. My first few squats are pretty mellow. I'm not getting down super deep. I'm allowing that stretch through the low back and glutes as I dip down, warming up my legs, and then the looser my back gets, I'm gonna start getting a little bit lower. And good breathing. And we're gonna do five more, and in five, four, three, two, and one. From here, I move into doing this modified jack or regular jack. It's up to you for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I come down wide step, I kick it back. I'm gonna kick back, stretch out quad. Warm up hamstring, keep the knee pointed down. I'm also gonna start moving out the hands. So with the arms, I'm going for a big row wide and back to stretch chest. Start warming up that upper back, get it moving. Good breathing. Good, so the heart rate's getting up a little bit more. We're moving more limbs. That's all a good sign. Excellent job. Keep it going, keep it going. And in five, 
four, three, two, and good. Core tight, reach across. Good. And if you get dizzy from moving your head side to side, you can feel free just to look forward and only move the arms. If you can though, we're gonna act like we're wringing out that midsection and get a good twist. I'm gonna feel it all the way down to my hip, getting that stretch, warming up the core, good breathing. Tighten up in the core, hands where you need them for balance. Go into a kick out. Extend those legs. If you have any low back problems, I recommend kicking lower than the hip. I'm gonna keep my kicks pretty mellow, so mine are gonna stay lower than the hip as well. Good job. Good breathing. Excellent. Okay, five more. Five, four, three, two, and good. Feet about hip width apart. I'm gonna move down into my squat. If you want to, if you can, you can start pushing up onto the toe. It's like the ball of the foot at the toe. I'm gonna start to move out those ankles. Yes, I'm gonna start to warm up that calf. Keep that going, good breathing. Good. And in five, four, three, two, modified regular jump jack, modified, regular, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it down, hip flexors, we go for range of motion, hands out if you need them for balance. Lift up that leg, circle it out. It's about your range of motion, so take your time. Good breathing. I'm gonna do one more each side, and then do the reverse after that. And reverse. Start the leg wide, draw it on in. This one doesn't feel quite as natural. Maybe you need your hands out for balance. Maybe you need to hold on to something. Good breathing all the way through. Good job, one more each side. I'm gonna move into a swing kick. I like to put my hands out on this one. They work as markers. It helps for my balance. Excellent, keep that going, kick it out, side to side. Big kicks, good. Kicking it out, side to side, good breathing. And one more each side, cool. So I'm gonna put my hands on my hips, I'm gonna draw circles, Loosening up that low back. If you feel like, man, it's just a good stretch, you can feel free to hold it anywhere along the way. Give me big circles. Awesome, I'm gonna switch direction of the circle. I'm going for these big circles, filling that, loosening up my tight back. Excellent job. Okay, so now I'm gonna to choose to do my stagnant stretches. The ones I choose to do are one for like the back of the leg and then the hip flexor. If you need to do something else, feel free. This is your time. So right now, I wanna make sure I don't invert this knee. This knee is soft. I pop that toe up. This leg is my support. There is a bend to the knee. Then I'm gonna reach on down to whatever feels comfortable, getting a good stretch. Listen to your body. Good breathing. Keep it there. 
And in five, four, three, two, slowly make your way on up. Don't rush that. And we go ahead and reset for the other side. We're gonna move on to the other side again. Biggest thing is I don't wanna invert the knee. So I've seen people like push on the leg that's straight and we're not even gonna do that. If you wanna rest your hands, do it on the supportive leg, okay? Good breathing, get that stretch in the back of the leg. Feel the calf, maybe you feel the Achilles, maybe you feel your hamstring. Breathe deeply and in five, four, three, two, and slowly make your way up. Back leg, back hip flexor. I take a big step forward. My toes are about 44, my feet are about hip width apart. I wanna keep that back heel on the ground. I'm gonna put my hand here just so you see. I'm gonna drive my hip flexor forward. When I drive my hip flexor forward, I'm gonna lift up that arm. I'm gonna slightly pull it back. If you can, you can do that, you don't have to. And it's gonna continue to stretch from the hip flexor up through the abdomen and we breathe. Excellent breath. And great, I'm gonna slow release that, switch the legs up. And again, I take a big step forward. I'm gonna try and keep both toes on the ground. Um, both toes pointing forward, heel on the ground, hip, drive it on forward. I'll lift the hand up and it does have a little bit of a pull back. So I'm just acting like I'm gently pulling that arm back. A little bit of stretch off the arm a bit. And I'm also getting that stretch up. Hip flexor to the abdomen and I breathe. Great. Okay, we are all set to get started. So the things we need today, mat, water, dumbbells. If you don't have them, feel free to grab stuff. And if you don't have the mat and the water bottle, that's okay, you could grab that during the water break because you're not gonna need that right away. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is going to take us into a lunch, okay? So I think I'm gonna show you side view just so that you see, but you can face forward, that's fine. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a step back lunge. So I'll, I will start with my, you're my mirror image, so your right leg, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and go step back lunge. Then I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna do almost like a fall forward, but in control. And I'm gonna go fall. And so what's happening here on the fall, as you can see, so I wanna keep the body weight back through the heel. I'm gonna do it one more time. My knee is bent, my hands go out for balance, and I tip at the hip and I almost bring my body to straight. Now you don't have to come down that low. You just come down low to what you feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable at all falling forward, I don't blame you, it is kind of a risk. So you need to make sure you feel comfortable. So instead, what you will do is instead of a step forward lunge, you're gonna step forward lunge and then a back lunge. And I'll show that next. So your modification will be a forward lunge, tap it, and a back lunge, tap it. That's the modification on this one, forward lunge, to back lunge, okay? So if you're with me, we're gonna take our right leg and we're gonna go ahead and go step it. Oh wait, so sorry, so sorry, so sorry. We're gonna step it back. Take that right leg, step it back. Good job. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and fall forward. Right leg, step it back. Now I'm gonna plant the leg and I fall forward. Step it back. Fall forward in control. It's a very controlled fall forward. Excellent job. So we're doing that back step lunge, followed by a little bit of a knee bent, and we tip at the hip and we fall it forward. Looking good. Lunge to control. Beautiful. So what's happening on that fall forward is it's basically like a single leg deadlift. So we're getting that stretch and strengthen through the back of the thigh on that fall forward. We want to anchor through the heel when we draw our body up. So when we dip down in our low phase, anchor through the heel, pull that body up through. And we like that stretch and strengthen move because it builds a nice lean look to the muscle. Good. Now we'll do one more. Fantastic. Okay. 
let's go ahead and shoot in a little bit of cardio. If you need to modify today, you're going to reach down, reach down, and you can step in. Okay. If you're okay with not modifying, feel free to join me. I'm going to go ahead and go down, up, down, up. I go wide on that squat. Push those knees wide. One arm down. And let's pick it up. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Cool. Okay. So I'm gonna stay with legs wide. I wanna make sure I don't get lazy knees. I don't want my knees to fall in. I need to activate and push them wide using inner thigh, outer thigh, okay? Now, when we start to get tired, we tend to do this fall forward. Don't do it. Show that you're strong in the glutes. Keep that body stacked. Core tight. Okay, so here I am. I'm gonna show you this move, and I'm gonna to have to move a little bit so that I don't hit stuff. You know what I'm talking about in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna come down low. How low can you handle it? That's okay, if you don't care from them, look quite as low. I'm gonna do a few tips to my ears. I'm gonna dip as far as I can, dip as far as I can, come back. I'm gonna put hands down, and I'll show a modification if you don't like this part. Jump it out, jump it back, hands back. Now, okay, I know it's like a lot to ask. So maybe for you, you're gonna go dip side, side, press on up, okay? And you might be able to get like two up. So down, up, down, up. In the matter of time that I do the drum. Okay, we're ready? Let's try that. Down low, side, side. Kick it out, back, side, side. Kick it out, back, side, stay low. Stay low, good breathing, excellent job. Side, side, kick it out, back, keep it low, keep it low. Tire out those legs. Woo oh, so what gets me on this one? It's when I do that jump out to jump in and then I only allow myself to come up into a low squat instead of coming up all the way. That is tiresome in the thighs. Feel it, okay? Embrace it. We're doing it. Might as well do our best. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Whew. Two more. Two more. Whew. Last one. And good stuff. Okay. Okay. How what we do before? We do like a little cardio in between, which I'm gonna go back to doing that cardio in between move but maybe you need to recover, understandable. So for you, you can go back to doing like a mellow squat, mellow squat, but just try to keep moving as you recover your breathing. Maybe then you could join me. Okay, so you have options. You can go one that we did before, was like the jump out, reach down, jump out, reach down. I'm gonna try and do a little bit of a turn, okay? So I'm just gonna go side to side. Okay. It's pretty tough. I'm gonna take a breath. Get ready, mentally prepared, and here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cool. I'm gonna walk that up for a second. Fantastic. Okay. I wanna throw in the other lungy one because the next round I want to do something different. So I know we're kind of tight in time, but we're going to go fast. Okay. So in the last time I had you step back with the right leg. So now we're going to step back left. Okay. Come in, plant left, hands wide, dive. And if you don't like it, remember what you did before. You do the step back, lunge, tap, forward lunge. Okay. So what's happening here, again, one of the more important things that I don't think I mentioned was the spine needs to be straight. We tip at the hip, we drop down, tipping from the hip. Good, good, awesome. 
keep my spine straight. I tip at the hip. I get a nice deep lunge. Beautiful. So what's going to happen here is that stretch and strengthen. When I'm at my low phase, I anchor through my heel. I pull the body up. And if you don't feel comfortable, do that forward lunge, back lunge. That's a good one. You're still going to feel it. But wait until you feel more comfortable. And it might be a matter of flexibility. Woo and then five. Good. I love these ones. Whenever I get that stretch and, stretch and strengthen through that hamstring, it always feels best for me. I got one last one, one last one to kick it out. Okay, okay. And we did fantastic. Good job. Okay, so running out low on time for leg stuff. I'm not even gonna throw in another cardio, so you're welcome. Grab yourself a sip of water, pull out the mat, and have your dumbbells, okay? So mat and dumbbells from the mat. Water break, work your breathing, recover, pull your mat out, get ready to do some upper body stuff from your mat with your dumbbells. <clears throat> okay, so how I'm gonna set up for my upper body is I, first off, I'm on carpet. You might be on hardwood floor. So I would take it and I'd kind of give myself a little bit more of a platform of cushion. Okay, I'm on. I got plenty of cushion, so I'm okay. I'm gonna put my dumbbells on each side of my thighs. I'm gonna get back to that. I'm gonna get back to that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is push up. You don't like push ups? It's okay. If it hurts your wrist, if it hurts your shoulder, lay on your back and do a chest press instead, okay? Got it? And maybe for the first round, you can do like a narrow chest press and the next one, do like a wide one just to switch it up. So here we go. I'm gonna go into my push up. I can be on my knees, I can walk my knees out, keep my core tight, make it a plank, yes. I can be body as a box and I lower down and lift up. You should be doing them, I'm just talking through. Or you can be on toes, keep that spine straight and go into your push up. With my push up, my hands are down for my shoulder. They're a little bit wider than my shoulder being straight down and my elbows aim wide and back, okay? Good, keep that spine straight, keep that core tight. That's really the most important part is that we protect that back. Again, a push-up is a glorified push-up. I'm sorry, a push-up is a word. A push-up is a glorified plank. I've said it before, I truly believe it. Keep your core tight. Your abs are getting work done. Your back, your chest, five more. And then five, good, four, three, two, and one. And I'm just pushing back to stretch out my arms and I'm gonna come back to being on my knees. Now, if I set my knees a little bit wider, it's gonna make it easier on the core. If I keep it hip width apart, that's pretty much where I'm gonna be. If you wanna make it like super narrow, it's gonna be pretty tough on your core. So just know where you're at. So I'm gonna try to keep my knees hip width, core tight. And now your core is everything kind of without your legs and your arms. So we're thinking not just our abdomen being tight, but hip flexors, glutes, low back. So all of this kind of needs to tighten up to be able to hold position, okay? You're fine where you're at. I'm gonna face you guys just so you see what's happening. From here, shoulders are back and down. And I like to do kind of this alternating movement from the knees because it's gonna force my core to work. My body wants to move out with the knees let me just suggest too, if you have knee problems, you don't need a needle on your knee for this one. Just stand up, you're fine. Do it the way it feels best for you. Feel free to stand. I like doing it from the knees because I do feel it more in my core. Okay? It's up to you though. Good, a couple more. And in four, three, and I'm not done yet, I'm not done yet. Good, so what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna go lateral raise, and I go to my hip, 
and then a forward raise. Lateral, forward. Now, if you're starting to get tired, you can either do less reps, put more of a bend in the elbow and not come up as high, or you could set down the weight and just do your body weight. Now, tighten up in the core. I know my body wants to move. I'm trying, trying to keep my hip flexors, glute, abs tight. Ooh. It's getting tough. And last one. Good stuff. Okay. So now on this one, I'm going to add a little bit of cardio to it. And I'll show you a modification. I'm going to put my dumbbells up higher away. Okay. They're coming up here. My hands will be down away from my dumbbells. Now, right away, being on the wrist hurts um, anywhere. You don't need to do it. You're going to go onto your back and you're going to start doing a bicycle. So kick the legs out, rotate opposite. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go into a plank. I'm going to do a straight arm plank and you can do a forearm plank. It's going to be a little bit harder to jump it though. So I'm going to go straight arm plank and I'm going to jump to the right. I'm going to jump back center and then jump to the left. Right, center, left. Keep that going. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good stuff. I'm going to move out my wrist after being like that. I'm going to go ahead and grab back my dumbbells. You can stand. You don't have to do this kneeling. Okay, so I have my dumbbells in hand. I go shoulders back and down. Open up the chest. And I'm going to go ahead and start you with holding it like a hammer. And we're going to go hammer bicep cycle. Breathe. Breathe. So you should grab your breath. If you're not able to grab your breath on this one, keep the elbow down. Alternate biceps. Got it? Okay, cool. Keep it going. Keep it going. Core tight. Excellent job. Okay, so the next one is going to go hands overhead. If you don't have control of your breathing, you're not moving into that one. You can either stay here or do a straight arm tricep pushback. And in five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff. Shoulders back and down. My neck is long. My shoulders are down. I don't want to get scrunchy shoulders. I'm going to start my arms wide and then pick it up straight overhead. Eight, seven, good. Six, five, four, three, almost. Two, and finish strong. One, coming back. Palms are up. You could go alternating bicep curl. Or you can go back to the cycle if you want to make it hard. Up to you. Core is tight. Grab your breath. Excellent job. I know the arms are getting tired. We have one more after this. You're doing great. Excellent job. Tightening up that core. Trying not to rock side to side. I'm rocking a little bit, but I'm trying. Keeping that going. Good form, good form. And in five. <clears throat> Four, three, two, and one. Okay, good stuff. From here, the next one I'm doing is pretty challenging, um, especially if you have rotator cuff problems. So you can choose to do holding the arms in front and pushing up overhead, or again, you can do a tricep straight arm push back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my arms right here. So they're already getting work done, just holding against gravity. I'm going to straighten my one arm. I'm going to go to the opposite hip. I'm going to pull up and across my body and back. Good. Now keep this going. Good job, good job. Side to side. Try and get a really nice diagonal on that arm. Okay? Don't just drop it straight down. Get it across to the opposite side. Woo! Good. Feel that. Feel that in the back of the shoulder. Excellent job. Excellent job. 
and six, five, four, three, two, and finish. Good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna set my dumbbells down and I'm gonna go ahead and go into a plank. And I will go on my forearms on this plank. So when I do this, I wanna put my body weight in the fist form and the elbow, not just the elbow pushing down because that's too much pressure on the shoulder. You could be on your knees if you need to. Okay, so here I am, and I'm in my forearm plank. Again, you could be on your knees, you're just on tight abs. My elbows are straight down from my shoulder. Body weight is pushed into the elbow and um, form and the fist, not just the elbow. And what I wanna do is, I'm just gonna draw your attention to your feet. You don't wanna be on like your tippy toe. You want your heel pushed back. So right now, we want to get that back flat. We want to tighten up in the abs. The abs want to drop with gravity, but you're going to fight that. You're going to pull them back in. Continue to hold that. Continue to hold that. Excellent job. I'm going to add to it. I'll, I'll go slow, and then if you don't like it, you can always stop or stay here, go to your knees, take a break. First thing you can do is rotate hips. Be aware that your feet will slip away and you just need to pull them back every time. Okay, the next thing you can do would be like lifting up. So rotate and lift, rotate and lift. It's up to you. Where are you at? Good job. And then eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna push on your backward, do just one more for the upper body. Before we stand up, head our, head our way back to doing legs. We'll go upper body, and probably sneak in a core one, two. I'm gonna grab my dumbbells. I'm gonna go feet hip width apart. I'm gonna grab my dumbbells in my hand. And again, no rotation with the wrist. A little bend in the elbow though, and we go chest wide. So this may be a little bit light for you. If you have different weights, this is one of the bigger muscles. So you wanna kind of go to your heavier set if you have them nearby. If not, just do what I do. I need to actively engage and squeeze. And in my mind, I'm thinking flex, flex, flex the whole time up. So flex, squeeze. I'm gonna lift those pectorals. Now, if you can, if you're hip width apart, your knees are as well, you're gonna to start to do a bridge up with the lift. Now, if that's too much, just stay with the chest, okay? We're getting plenty of glutes in with the legs today. Excellent. So as I do this, feel free to stay here I am going to change it up in five, four, three, two, and I have one more, and then I'm going to play with range of motion. So what's going to happen is you can either leave the hips up for a challenge or put them down. I'm going to pull my arms pretty low, almost grazing the floor. And then I'm going to lift up only halfway, back down. Lift up halfway, back down. Up half, back down. Good. So I'm not getting much of a break. I'm not getting that when the arms come together and they feel lighter. I'm keeping it heavy, feeling gravity pushed down on that weight keeping it wide, feeling that chest. If you move to the heavier weights because I recommended it and you need to go back lighter, feel free to do that. Do the best you can, do whatever you can, but we keep on moving. Good breathing, good breathing. Okay, I'm not done yet. I'm gonna keep the arms wide, I'm gonna pulse it out. I might as well do a little hip pulse with it. If you're into that, go for it, okay? So I'm gonna pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I set that down. I'm just gonna go hands over head, long body, long spine. Stretch out the legs, stretch, stretch, stretch. Take a nice deep breath. Ah, fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna do a core one since I'm down here. I'm just gonna throw in a core one real quick. So I'm gonna go fingertips behind the ears, 
to start you off, if it's too much to even do a crunch, you're just gonna go tight abs release from the ground. Or maybe you're just gonna choose to do upper body up on the crunch. I'm gonna do upper body, lower body up at the same time. I'm gonna go breath in tight, hold it, one, two, back down. In tight, roll up, one, two, back down. So I'm pulling my knees up so much so that I'm almost like able to get my butt off the ground. I'm lifting up high into my crunch and I'm gonna hold for like a quick three. One, two, three, back down. One, two, three, back down. Now keep it going, keep it going. Excellent job. On these ones, I'm gonna try not to let my feet touch each other because if one side's shorter than the other, the other side's always just hitching a ride. So now instead of holding for three, I'm gonna pulse for three. One, two, three, lower. One, two, three, lower. One, two, three, lower. One, two, three, lower. And one, two, and three. Good job. I'm just gonna stretch out really quick. After my stretch, I'm coming up, grabbing a sip of water. Excellent job during that series. We're gonna move back to legs. So water, recovery, get ready to go back into legs. choose not to use dumbbells on this one and just focus in on my balance. If you want to make things harder, if you feel pretty advanced today, you could use two dumbbells and just to kind of weigh yourself down. And I'll show you the move first and then we will talk about modifications for it as well. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do in this one is you're right mirror, so it's your right leg. I'm going to go on my right leg, hands out back wherever you need them for balance. I'm going to go single leg squat and again, you can have the, hand, the weights in hand. And then on the next one, I'm not just doing a squat, I'm doing a single leg squat with a tip of the hip. So it's like a hybrid of a single leg squat and a single leg deadlift, okay? So I'll show you side view. So I'm gonna go single leg squat, spot, spine straight, tip with a tip of the hip. Let me do it a couple more times so you see what's happening. Squat and then tip hip. Okay, so it's squat, squat with a tip hip, and that will count as one. Now, if you need a modification for this one, I'd like you to do single leg squats, but I understand the balance is a thing, so you might need to hold onto like a back of a chair, so you might wanna grab something. So your modification would be working your single leg squats, okay, while holding onto something, okay? And if your leg kind of gets fatigued out, take a moment, shake it out. A lot of times we're gonna see that our leg, our foot can get kind of fatigued. If we put too much pressure in the toes, if you're really gripping in the forward in the toes, because your feet muscles just don't get warmed that much because we don't walk around barefoot. But hey, now that we're all home, maybe we are just walking around barefoot all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show this one again. Modification, hold onto a chair, work the single leg squat, practice your single leg squats. And here I go, I'm gonna go single leg squat, Single leg squat deadlift. Single leg squat. Single leg squat deadlift. Now, if you're like, man, this just kind of feels easy, it's going to catch up on you. But you can also add in the dumbbells to add a little bit more to the work. I'm good. This is good for me. I'm focusing on my balance right now. So your spine stays straight. That's important. We want to keep that back straight, no dips in the back. The knee bends on both of them, but the hip bends on the second one. Keep the chest up on the first one. And then on the second one, I tip at the hip and the chest falls. Woo, balance. Okay, keep it going. End in five. 
Legs getting tired. Doing good, doing good. Four. Three. I'm going slow. Two. Last one, last one, make it pretty. Get in your squat, get in your squat hybrid, and coming up. Fantastic job. Okay, time for a little cardio. Again, step it out, bring it back, step it out. That's a good one. If you wanna join me with the jump and the reach down, feel free to join me in three, two, let's hit it. Wide squat, coming low, let's go. And in 10, nine, touch your ground if you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna go wide step. Okay. My chest is up, wide step, toes out a bit, knees, push them wide. You don't want to get lazy, you don't want to pull them in. Don't let the spine drop, hold that spine upright. Okay, fingertips behind the ears, chest up. Now, you can sink it down much lower. I'm feeling a little bit more pregnant today than usual, so I'm going to come up. So I'm going to come right here, but again, feel free to go lower. And again, you're going to tip as far as you can tip as far as you can and maybe it's going to be a two squat or maybe it's going to be that little half burpee up to you let's go side 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 and then ten keep it low keep it low Ooh, nine knees stay wide glutes strong body upright Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and fantastic job. I'm gonna be cool this round. We're gonna go back into the more of the strengthening one, and then we're adding the cardio. So I'm gonna recover my breath, do a little bit more of the flexibility strength training one, and then we'll go back to cardio one. So you will get it in just not right after doing a little cardio. So we switch legs, you're on your left leg. And what's gonna happen here, I'm gonna kick up that back leg. I go single leg squat, it's what I feel comfortable. And then I'm gonna go squat, tip at the hip, fall forward. Woo -hoo. Lots of balance. And again, your modification here is to practice those single leg squats, they're good. It forces that leg to work independently which is good because if you have a weak side and the other one's stronger side is always taking over, you'll never know. So you have a chair and you just practice your single leg squats. You're doing great. And again, if you needed to make this harder, put those weights in your hand. I'm trying to touch the ground, but I wouldn't recommend that for everyone. The secret is I'm actually pretty low to the ground. I'm pretty short. Sure. So, if you're a tall person, don't feel pressured. Reach down as far as you feel comfortable and your back can stay straight. That's way more important. Three more, three more. And then three. Ooh, my goodness. Feeling that thigh, feeling that glute. Two. And one. Awesome. Okay. 
as promised, a little cardio. Your options here are step it, step it, put some pace on it, make it cardio. I'm gonna do that one where I reach on down, switch to the other side. If you don't like it, no pressure, do what you can do. Getting ready, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You like how I didn't count every other one? We just counted every one. That was on purpose. Oh, good. Recover the breath. <sighs> Grab yourself some water. Put out the mat. Grab your dumbbells. Let's hit that upper body and core. I'm setting it up the same, okay? We'll change up the moves, but we're setting it up the same. Okay, so I am changing this round up a bit. And if you don't like it, I'll kind of give you some hints of things you can do that'll be a little better. I'm gonna have the dumbbells in my hand and I'm gonna start at the plank and I'm gonna do an, um, some arm lifts with that. So what that could look like is body in box. It could look like body on the knees and a knee plank. It could look like on the toes. If you like, hate any of it, you can either sit in a chair or do the arm stuff standing. So when I do a lateral raise, it's just a normal lateral raise, okay? Okay, so here I am. I'm in my straight arm plank. You could go on your toes, you could be in a box, do what you wanna do. And I'm gonna go ahead and go right arm up, and I'm gonna drop it down, and I'm gonna go right arm wide. So I'm cheating, do you see this? I'm gonna kick my legs out a little bit wider than my hips, so it's gonna be a little more helpful. If you need that core help, do that too. If you wanna make it harder, keep the hips, keep the toes hip width apart, okay? So again, now I'm gonna row it, and then go wide for eight, seven, whew, six, Maybe you hate having the dumbbell on the other hand. Ditch the dumbbell and just do straight arm down if you're okay with it. Four. Three. Two. Now, can you remember what arm you just did? Take a little snapshot of that because we're gonna get to the other side eventually. Not right away. So now I'm gonna take it to a side plank. We will talk. I know side planks aren't for everybody. If you can, forearm straight down, body weight through the fist form and the elbow. You wanna get that body straight, not in the C. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick out the legs, top leg can be straight, I'm gonna lift up the hip. Okay, I'm gonna side plank. If you absolutely hate side planks, no worries. You're gonna try and do, you can either do like a side crunch or you could simply just crunch side to side. Got it? Okay, everyone find something. Here we go. I'm gonna lift up. Now, if you are a rock star today, feel free to kick both legs out if you want to. I'm not sure if I'm there anymore. I might be here these days. Okay, so I'm on my knee, straight leg. Again, two legs can be out, up and down, looking good. Do you have your dumbbell near? I'm gonna try adding in some arm stuff. If you can, feel free to do it. If it's too much, continue doing what you're doing. Okay, so I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna keep my plank up. I don't really wanna um, fall forward. That is a move, but we're not gonna do it. Keep the hip up, abs tight, grab your dumbbell. Now my arm is here. I'm gonna drop my arm. I'm gonna lift my arm just for five. Ready, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one more, and one. Good stuff. Okay, know what side you just did because we're doing the opposite next time. 
Doing good? Set the weights down. We're gonna flip over onto our backside down just to give the arms a little bit of a breather. And we're gonna go back to doing our crunches. If you can involve the lower body, feel free. If not, a normal crunch will do. We're in, out for eight, seven, six. And I'm actually gonna slow it down. I'm going a little too fast because I wanna hold it for a few seconds at the top of it. So I'll start over eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna flip it over. And just so you can see what's happening, I'm changing side, you are fine. Okay, so here I am. Again, body is box on the knees, on the toes. If you don't like any of it, sitting down or standing up will also do. I'm gonna go ahead and go straight arm plank. You could have both dumbbells in hand. I think I like my hand down instead of having the dumbbell in it. So it's up to you. So instead of coming to row, and then a lift. Good, eight, seven. Trying to keep my butt down, my butt's climbing up. Try it, core tight. Four, three, tight abs, two, mm -hmm. and one, good job. Okay, flipping sides on that um, side plank. If you don't like the side plank, you could do crunches side to side, modify it, okay? Again, knees can be bent, top leg can be straight, or you could go two legs straight, have your dumbbell in there. Here we go, lift that hip. And we go for eight, seven, six, fill that core. Five, four, three, two, and hold it if you can. If you wanna just work the hold, that's fine. If you wanna do arms with no weight, that also works. I'm gonna lift it straight up to the shoulder, not beyond that, and then down for eight, seven, six, five, tight abs, four, almost, three, two, and finish, one. Great, I'm gonna flip it back. You can do body as box, you can be on your knees, you can be on your toes, you can stand on up. I'm gonna go ahead and move into doing a row to a back kickback, okay? And again, body as a box is a good way to do this as well. So here I am coming down. I, um, I'm gonna switch arms, give the other arm a break. So I start the right arm. I'm gonna row it on up. And remember, I kicked my legs a little bit wider than my hip width. My goal here is to keep my spine straight and trying to make it a nice flick. I know I'm not really reaching my goals like I used to. I'd like to bring the giant stomach, but whatever. Go ahead and pull the elbow up, push back. Try not to lift my butt. You try to. Five more. And then five. Elbow up. I'll just put my knees, make my form better. Four. Three, two, and one more, and one. Awesome, when I dropped on these, I had much better form, felt better about myself. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna go ahead and flip you back, and before we get to the other side, I'm cutting out slide planks this round because of time. So I'm gonna flip you back here, and we're gonna go into our crunches, I'm gonna pull my knees up with it if you can do it. And I'm gonna pulse at the top for three. So I'm gonna tight for three, two, one. Lower, three, two. Now when I lower, I just have my toes dip and I lift the toe. So it's just a toe tap. I'm not bouncing off the ground. What I mean by that is you don't wanna get the momentum from the legs pushing off the ground. You want it to come from low abs driving in, okay? So you want to activate those low abs. Continue to breathe. 
Good breathing. Good job. At the top for three, two, in tight. One. If you could go like really tight, you could reach. Do you see what I'm doing? You don't have to though. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And I have one more, one more. And three, two, and last one. Good stuff. Okay, we gotta get the other tricep in and then we'll call it and do a stretch out. Okay, again, you can go on your toes. I found that my form was much prettier if I stayed on my knees. You can either do body as box or standing. I'm gonna keep my core tight. My knees are a little bit wider than my hip. I row it up, I kick it back. Here we go. And 10, three, nine, good breathing. Eight, seven, push through that pinky, feel that tricep. Six, abs tight, five, almost there, four, three, two, and last one. Good stuff, okay. I'm gonna set my weights off to the side. They are no longer needed. We did great. I'm gonna lay down on my back, hands overhead, long body, long spine, stretch it on out. Long body, long spine, big stretch. Excellent job. Take deep breaths now, in through the nose. Release to the mouth. Stretching out the abdomen, the low back, the arms. Give me one more deep breath in. Release, hug your knees. My knees come in, I'm gonna hug them in as tight as I can do it, so do so for you. And then loosen up your grip, and then draw circles with the knee. Good. So I'm making this like a little uh, oval shape with my low back, loosening it up. Switch direction of the circle. Excellent job. Now my palms go down, they go wide. My knees are like tabletop and I drop them side to side. I'll go one more each side. And now my legs can come down to being like a pyramid. From here, I'm gonna write my hips to my shoulders. I don't want them off to the side. And once I have that, I can pick up the leg using a stretching strap or my hands, okay? So pretty soon I'll maybe use a stretching strap. Oh, here I am today. So I have this bottom leg can go straight. It will make it harder. Good breathing. Again, nice deep breaths. Keep that going. Point the toe down. Lift the toe up. Circle for the ankle joint. Switch direction of your circle. I'm gonna grab opposite arm to the leg, same side arm down to the ground. Pull that leg across the body. Straighten out the leg, point the toe back to the face. Breathe. And release that, good job. I'm gonna square the hips up to the shoulders. And again, I'm gonna pick up my leg. I'm gonna start the other leg bent, but it can be straight, that also works. So now I'm gonna point my toe down. Take deep breaths. Don't hold your breath when it gets hard. Lift that toe up. Circle for the ankle joint. Switch direction of the circle. Opposite arm grabs that leg. Leg is straight. Pull it across the body. Straighten that leg. Point the toe back to the face and breathe. Awesome job. From here, I'm gonna go ankle to the thigh. I can either hug it in or sit up too. I will choose to hug it in. And good. Opening up that hip. Good breathing. And switch. Ankle to the thigh, you can sit up to it or you can hug it in. And 
and release. I'm gonna roll my belly up and I'm gonna kick my legs out. I'm gonna push my heels out. I don't wanna get caught up on. I'm gonna walk my hands out. I'm gonna reach towards the ankles, calf, whatever I can do. Fold the body down, listen to the body. Do not overextend. Feel that stretch of the back of the leg and the low back. Slowly roll your body up, soles the feet together. From here, I'm gonna tip at the hip. I'm gonna fall forward a bit. And again, you don't have to do the fall forward part. If you got enough stretch going on, you are good having the feet touching knees wide. I'm gonna take this one step farther. You do not have to. I'm gonna kick my legs out. With my legs kicked out, I'm gonna walk my hands out. I'm gonna put a little bend in the elbow. You don't have to come all the way to the ground, just do what you can do. And then maybe you wanna do like a reach side to side. So I go ahead and reach it to one side, reach it to the other side. And I slowly make my way here. I'm gonna go ahead and go stomach side down. You can go straight arm lift up. You wanna make sure you're not overextending the low back ever. You can be on the forearms like me. From here, we wanna make sure our shoulders are not coming up on the neckline. We wanna keep the neck long and strong. Continue to breathe. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and push back into a child's pose. I'm gonna walk my hands out. I will go limp through the arms, melt the low back and glutes, and breathe. Slowly make your way to all four core. I'm gonna step one leg forward, drive that hip flexor forward, get that stretch to the back hip flexor. You can modify, you don't have to. Breathe through. Modifications make it harder on this one. Go ahead and switch. Drive that hip flexor forward. You do not have to modify, do what I'm doing. If you'd like to, join me, that's fine. Excellent. Take your time, slowly release. Make your way to standing up. Slowly, gently up. Don't whip that head. When I get up to the top, my shoulders roll back and down. I'm gonna pick an arm up and I'm gonna reach down to my ankle. And I'm gonna switch it up. Hand up, reach down to the ankle. Awesome. Coming up, shoulders are back and down. Arm across, we breathe. Release and switch. And release, elbow up. Switch it up. And release, shoulders are back and down. One more time. Fingertips to the ears, elbows wide. A little bit of spinal extension, deep breathing. Extend the arms. Pull that thumb back, deep breathing. Fall forward gently, smoothly. Spinal flexion. Hang here, take a breath. Slowly start to roll one vertebrae on top of each other till we make our way to the top and the shoulders are gonna go back and down for two. Keep them down, chin down, side to side. My chin is down, it travels half circle, shoulder to shoulder. Continue to breathe. Keep a little slack jaw. I wanna look over my shoulder the best I can. Get that stretch in the neck. And one more, other side. Keep that slack jaw, look up. Back, center, shoulders back and down. You did great. Awesome job, awesome workout. Thanks for joining me. I will be back on Friday for your cardio workout. Have a good one. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for taking the class. Thanks, Britt. Bye. Thanks, Britt. See Thanks, you Friday. Britt. You guys on Friday? Thank you. Friday. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. Hello. <laughs> it's good to see you guys. I love it when the families take it. That's great. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.